Anybody who cares about the condition of our rivers, about the wildlife and the fish that live in these waters, really should be worried about the spread of floating pennywort. There's three stages to this project. The first stage is to get rid of any matting on the larger watercourses with the weed boat. The second stage is going to the smaller watercourses and using mechanical excavators to remove any matting. And the third stage is monitoring, spraying and hand picking, manually hand picking um, for the next five years. Floating pennywort arrived in the UK from South America sometime in the 1980s and spread into the wild almost certainly as a result of discards from ornamental ponds. As you can see, it can quickly choke up watercourses and streams, spreading from bank to bank. So sometimes we uh, remove the weed manually and put it on the bank because of uh, problems with access for machinery. So it's uh, obviously quite heavy. Uh, lifting it up on the bank as far as you can. It's quite effective for removing large amounts. Keeps me fit. So you can see from the, the dense mats behind me and also just the density of this, this roots and stems all intertwined here. What, what a complete carpet it provides on, on top of the water. And this is bad news for invertebrates and plants that are living in the bed of the river and also in the water column. It's cutting out light to them. Um, it's blocking opportunities for them to grow. And so we, we, we believe that this is having a serious impact on our native wildlife. So the second thing is that it's uh, probably, in certain circumstances, reducing oxygen levels. And so that has an impact on other wildlife as well. That will depend on temperature and whether it's completely blanketing the surface or not. Thirdly, there's the impact on human activities. For example, if you have lots of this blocking a weir, then you're going to cause problems for flood risk management. It may affect the operation of the weir. There's obviously the impact on fishing and on boat traffic. All of these things added up mean that it's bad news for our rivers and waterways. So this is the Plant Tracker app. I'd encourage everyone to use this. Uh, if you go into the app, then it gives you a checklist of various plants. Right here is floating pennywort. Tap on that, then you can add your record and in there you will get a selection of information to provide, location, date, the rough amount, etc. And this will be really useful to increasing our knowledge of where it is, how much there is, uh, how it's expanding, etc. As well as wading the streams or hand picking from a canoe, there is also a place for spraying to kill off floating pennywort. Here on the River Way system, the Environment Agency are using a special aquatic herbicide which does not impact on fish or invertebrates. And over on the River Lodden catchment, Farnham Angling Society has been dealing with their floating pennywort problem by draining a lake that links to the Little River Blackwater and then extensively spraying, as you can see, with the right result. And further down the Thames Valley, a little closer to London, the Angling Trust and our colleagues from the Colne Valley Fisheries Consultative invited DEFRA Minister Lord Gardner to visit the River Colne to see the problem for himself. This grows by 20 centimetres a day. And this is why it's so invasive and why we've got to do something about it. It destroys ecosystems and is very difficult for anglers, boaters, and so we must work collaboratively to do something about this invasive species. Very bad. And so returning to the River Kennet in Berkshire, which has seen some of the most intensive joint action on floating pennywort eradication. So this is how we're trying to deal with our problem with floating pennywort down on the Lower River. It's invaded the Foundry Brook, a tributary of the Kennet, but despite the best efforts of the Environment Agency, this, this plant keeps regenerating, keeps coming back. 
And what we think is you can't just do a single cut of floating penny wort. You've got to come back year after year after year. You've got to continue to spray it. And luckily, we've managed to get £140,000 from Thames Water through an enforcement undertaking payment. And uh, we've got Reading and District Angling Association. We've got local contractors on site. We are hoping that by having a year-on-year -year eradication programme, we could stop this invasive plant that does so much damage to rivers, to fish, to wildlife, from spreading down from the Foundry Brook into the Kennet and then all the way down to London. It's very important that we succeed and it's also very important that other clubs and fishery owners do what they can to halt the march of floating pennywort.